Absolutely. And the way we speak about and think about mental health is much different than our older parents. And, and so if talking about feelings is difficult for the older person, and I can tell you from doing this for 21 years, it is, we just have to change the focus a little bit. And I know it's not our instinct, Jen, as, and I'm older than you, but as are the younger generation, but we really have to reframe it and come to them and say, mom or dad, how can I help you? You know, can I do the shopping for you? I'm here. You've taken care of me for so long. I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. We can't come in and go, how are you feeling? Do you think you have some anxiety symptoms? It's just (laughs) not going to be the effective way to do it. It's, you know, at least not as a starter. I think we need to start and change the focus from feelings to sort of the problems you've noticed and how you want to solve the problems really objectively. You know, can I do the shopping for you? Um, Let's hang out, you know, or I can do it on my own without you. Just really objective problem solving. It's like, don't boss them around and tell them what they have. And you don't have to suddenly be like all touchy feely and freak them out. It's like somewhere in the middle, compassionate, but, but solutions, you know, right. We don't come in with a problem. You have anxiety, you have a depression. We come in with noticing changes that we've seen and things that we think we can do that will help that problem. But if we come in and say, you have a problem, it's, it's a non-starter. 